In this video, we're going to solve a problem with hypothesis testing. So here's our question. A machine is set to produce tennis balls so that the mean bounce is 36 inches when the ball is dropped from a platform. The supervisor expects that the mean bounce has changed and is less than 36 inches. As an experiment, 42 balls were dropped from the platform and the mean height was 35.5 inches with a standard deviation of 0 0.9 inches. As the zero point, at the 0 0.5 significance level, can the supervisor conclude that the height is less than 36 inches? So basically, is, machine, is the machine still doing what we expect and getting tennis balls that bounce at 36 inches? Or has it changed? And the change is, is it less than 36? So that there is indicating what our alternative hypothesis is going to be. So all the hypothesis testing, we follow the same procedure. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, and significance level to start. So we start with the alternative hypothesis, H1, which is, is the average now less than 36? And that's straight from that part. So that means that the null hypothesis is, nope, we disagree, that the average is still greater than or equal to 36. The significance level, if it's not given, is 0.05. Here it is given, and it's still 0.05, so that equals 0.05. Now we have to find our critical value. Critical value. And you see we already have a normal curve set up here. This is where we want to sketch our critical value as well. So we're going to go to our calculator. And this here has 42 in the sample. So because n is greater than or equal to 30, this is going to be a z test. So we're going to go to distributions, inverse norm, number 3. And the area we want, well, it's less than. So we're only talking about a one-tail test here to the left. So we want an area of 0 0.05, one tail, because we're only one side. and our mu is 0, standard deviation is 1, because we're looking for our z value. And that gives us a critical value of z equal to negative 1.645. And we'll sketch that. That's a little more than halfway between here. So this is our critical z value, negative 1.645, which means anything above that is the machine is fine. Anything below that tells us the machine is no longer producing tennis balls that bounce to 36 inches. So we haven't used any of the data besides the population mean here, or the expected mean. So now we move to our test statistic. And here's where we statistic. Here's where we need to look at what information we have. So this was critical value. This is step one, step two, step three, step four, and we're almost finished. So our test statistic, let's list what we know. We know mu is 36. We know our sample is 35.5. And that's in here. We know our standard deviation is equal to 0 0.9. And we know that n is equal to 42. And that, if we run a test in our calculator here, stat test, oh, make sure we show which one we're taking here. We're doing a z test. So that was the right one. We don't have any data, we have statistics. And the statistics we have are 36. Significance level of 0 0.05. Oh, that's standard deviation. Uh, 0.9. Uh, X bar is 35.5. That's our sample mean. 42 in our sample. And we need to choose less than. Our alternative hypothesis is less than. And we want to calculate what we have. So our answers we get 
z equal to negative 3.60 and p equal to 1.589 and pay attention here go right to the end we have that e so this is times 10 to the minus 4 because p is always less than 1 or less than or equal to 1 so there's our p value and our z value and now we can draw our conclusions what does that mean well our z value of negative 3.1 is over here which is in our h1 range so since our test statistic is less than our critical value then accept h1 we're in the h1 range here alternatively we could have said this we could say that p here is less than alpha and again since p is less than our significance level therefore we accept h1 or we can also say we reject h0 same thing and what that means in terms of the story is that the tennis balls are no longer bouncing to 36 inches so as the manager expected the machine is not working and the tennis balls are not are not bouncing as they should and so that's an example of a one tail z test